At ease! Gentlemen, once again, I'm going to pass these photographs amongst you. Who would have thought that such fine and upstanding Italian officers could still be proud of such atrocities? This is what you fought for? This is what you're still so proud of? Colonel Gardner, I request permission to speak. Your name, officer? Capitano Italo Giulini. Permission granted. We have seen these pictures over and over again. If what you have shown us is real, we need a lifetime to make up for it. And a lifetime is not enough. If these pictures are real, yes, we are ashamed. But how do we know? Do you think I make something like this up? You are the enemy! I'm not the enemy! We are not the enemy. We are the liberators. We have liberated your country from the mass destruction of a war you should never have been in. We have brought you freedom and democracy. And I'm telling you, Captain, that these pictures are real. And the only way you have to redeem yourself is by signing this declaration and agreeing to work with the American army to reconstruct your homeland. So, you want to be the first? Who else? Non farlo. Who else? Carlo. Name and rank? Lieutenant Carlo Ticina. As for the rest of you, someday when you're strolling around the streets of Roma, Friends, Napoli, you'll come to realize that what makes a man is his ability to make a decision, not to avoid it. And remember, your country doesn't like you. It doesn't want you. It doesn't need you. Why? Because you are war criminals. Yes, war criminals. Dismissive. As a result of the armistice concluded by the United Nations and the government of Italy, I hereby state that one, I am not a fascist. Two, I volunteer for service in an Italian service unit. I promise that I will assist the United States of America to the best of my ability. I promise to obey all orders or regulations issued by the American military authorities. Why do I have to sign? I know that I'm going home anyway. You go home an innocent man. 